just a quick video because I've done the last video about some of the mods or modifications whatever to the sheath of the Holterfer's knife and one of them was a da uh, like a button dangler um, a lot of people have mentioned other knives have the similar kind of holes on them so I thought if I show you how to make one you can fit it on yourself I noticed quite a few of the knives with plastic sheaves seem to have these buttonholes as you can see there that's a normal Mora I think that was a Mora clipper or companion sheaf quite an old style one but that you could slide a button up there or hang it on a button that's the whole Tuffers HD. This is just a plain one, I've not had anything done to it. And as you know, that's got the buttonhole. And this is a cold steel survival edge. And this has got the buttonhole on it as well. So what you need is just a needle and some strong thread, some buttons, and I suppose you could use leather if you wanted to. But then the technique to this might be slightly different. Or this, you know, nylon cord, whatever they call it. Not nylon cord, nylon webbing I suppose and the only thing I would say is make sure you pick a strong button and make sure it fits in the hole now I notice most of these are a similar size the ideal thing if you could get it in an ideal world would be a metal button that would be even better but I haven't got any metal buttons I've only got plastic ones whatever they're made out of so that button should fit in there yeah, it fits in there easy enough and I know these buttons fit in the hold of this one and in here you'd have to push it up the bottom there So this is how I do it, take your bit of webbing, I think I did it seven, no, I think I did it seven inches and then seven inches folded would probably fit through most belts or you could measure it to your belt if you had a wide belt or you normally had a narrow belt. So we do it seven inches, that should definitely fit fit a say a three inch belt on a fort. Now if I've got one, I need a lighter. Now we've got a lighter when I want one. And this end you cut, just burn it. Make sure the other end's done. And that just seals the end. Kind of similar thing to what you do on paracord, because if you don't, this stuff will just keep fraying off. Just keeps coming off if you don't do it. Once you burn it, it seems to stay alright. So, put those together. That should fit any belt now. And what I sometimes do is hold it together, burn it again. 
and if you just push them together like that they stick together now I save it flapping open and then somewhere down the bottom doesn't really matter where just sew your button on I suppose you could use fishing cord, not fishing cord, fishing line if you really wanted to. That would probably be nice and strong. You could keep going with that for as long as you like till you feel that you've done it enough for it to be strong enough and then just tie it off and then you've got a piece of webbing with the button on the front that can go through your belt and then I don't know how good this is going to be on one of these see it in there and that's it that's it on the um, cold steel I'll try it on the mower now. May not go on this one. May have needed to do the button a bit looser. I reckon on the Mora, you'd have to do this really loose because this seems thinner than that, but it also seems hard. You see this little bit here and there, seems hard to get the button past that. I'll try it one more time. Ah, done it. Right. To be honest, that's better. That wouldn't probably come off of that at all. So there it is. On a mora sheaf. And it just slides up that middle. And on the cold seal, it just goes in and slides up there.
And that's a simple way to make a belt dangler for those kind of cheap plastic sheaths. Anyway, cheers for watching and I'll see you next time.